Hi guys, so in this video what I want to talk about is five things you need to get through the rest of 2020. We all know what 2020 has been like and literally I can't believe we've only got another three and a half months till we're at the end of the year. But it doesn't mean you have to sit there and think because of everything that's happened, you know, that's it, the 2020 is over, um, there's nothing I can do about it and all that sort of thing. These are five things that you can work on to getting you through the rest of the year. The first one is resilience. So all I want to say to people really is resilience to me means that you have an inner strength so that when all these things are coming at you, especially things that are out of your control, they do not destroy you or break you as a person. If you can develop inner resilience, and this is not only for yourself, but also if you have children or just the people around you, I call it, I see it as being like you have, um, what's it called, a shield, but you have that shield within you, so it's internal. So an example would be when COVID hit or when something else hits that you're not expecting or if something happens that's out of your control, you were still affected by it, but your resilience means that you are not gonna be crushed by it. That's the difference because you know that you've got the strength, you know you have the capacity to get through. So work on that, do your personal development stuff. Start to give yourself pep talks. Start to look at the strengths that you have within as a person and just continue to maintain them because it will be a massive um, bonus to you getting through the end of the year. The second one is you need to have your own vision. There are lots of people out there that want to influence you in a particular direction. You only have to go on Facebook or on any social media and you'll see that lots of people will want you to have the same vision as them. They'll want you to be fighting the same cause, going on the same journey, experience things from their point of view, perceiving things in the same way as they do. You need to be a strong person with your own mindset and your own vision. So if you have a plan and a goal and a dream, don't let that be knocked off course by what anyone else will say or people trying to influence you. So an example would be, I'm generally a positive person. I've always been like that. I've been like that my whole life. Things get me down and I'm affected by things and I don't live in a bubble. But I also recognise that there are so many things that are out of my control that I don't focus my energy and time on them as much as the things within my control. So people might say to me occasionally, <laughs> positive thinking isn't going to help in this situation, Marianne, or you're an individualist, you only think about individuals, you don't think about community. Or they might have other like criticisms. Now my feeling is that person doesn't live in my life. So whilst they're trying to get me to have their vision or to see things their way, if I'm then affected and impacted by that, it's going to be me picking up the pieces. So the way you have to look at it is it's your life, you're living in your world. Um, you know, it, obviously we've got the world, we have our um, immediate family, we have our community, we have our city, then we have our region. You know, there's a, millions and millions of people around us you have to interact with. But ultimately, as sometimes you do have to be selfish, sometimes you have to say, this is my goal, this is my vision, this is what I want to do, and I respect where you are and your journey, but this is what I need to do right now for me. The third thing is discipline. No matter what else is going on, have your routines, your discipline. That's another <laughs> criticism that people might say to me, you're very disciplined. Now, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> I don't think I'm regimented, you know, I've not come from like an army background. I don't feel that I'm so regimented that there's no flexibility, but I think discipline's important. I, st I do generally get up the same time most days, even at weekends. I do tend to have my meals at certain times, do certain things. I'm quite organized. Um, I like the fact that I'm quite a disciplined person because I get things done. And the only way you're gonna get through the next few months before we get to the end of the year is to be disciplined. So all those things you've been putting up, you need to just get stuck into them get organized, get disciplined. The fourth one is a positive mindset. Um, now this is obviously people talk about positivity, positive mindset, law of attraction, all of these stuff. And for some people they're just, they're saying it, but they don't necessarily recognize the value or the impact, you know, and the, the importance of it. Positive mindset doesn't mean that when everything's falling around, um, falling down around you, you say, oh, well, let's look at the positives or you're laughing or you're this Pollyanna type person. That's most people's perception of what positive mindset is. That's not my um, definition. I see it as being you reckon you see the positive in life 
you see the positive in things, but also your mindset is attracted and drawn towards that. So there's never a situation where even if it's the worst thing possible, you can always see the light at the end of the tunnel. But also you operate from a stage of being very up, uplifting, very motivational, very um, can-do attitude rather than can't-do. You're not up and pessimistic, you're optimistic. It's just a mindset that you have to develop. It doesn't come out overnight. And the final thing is get your planning heads on. Start thinking about plans for work, plans for business, plans for money. You know, this is the right time to do it because we don't know what's going to happen. There's lots of things that are out of our control. We can control what we plan for. We can control upsetting our goals. And there's still time to do that. You know, you don't think that 2020 is over just because of what's happened. You know, there's nothing we can do about what's happened already or that what might happen in the future. But we can do something now and we can get planning. So I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to give your, leave your comments, to share this if you think someone will benefit and to like. I appreciate every single contribution that is made to this channel. And thank you to all of my new subscribers. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.